Hello, just Jamie here. Thanks for checking out my latest emulation video. So before I start this video, I just want to say thanks for watching it and uh, thanks for all my subscribers, you know, tuning in to watch my latest emulation videos. I do a range of different videos on my channel, music, tuition, obviously emulation, tuition, gameplay and modern games, so everything. So I need your support to upgrade the channel, as it were. I need new microphones, I need new backdrops, I can't keep going on using this. So I need a lot of stuff to enhance my channel to make it so much better. But anyway, uh, check out links in my description and enjoy the video. Take care. Okay, so let's just get on with this. So uh, thanks for the people who requested the Atari 800 to be covered in my emulation series. That's awesome. Uh, just to say, if there is a system you want seen emulated, it's a tutorial, just drop a comment and I'd be happy to explore it. Uh, it might even be in my playlist already. So for this one, I have dug deep and I have found a very good emulator. It looks a little bit daunting, but it's actually quite simple and it's not as hard as it seems. So if you go under my description, under the download section, let's just download the Atari portable 8-bit emulator. So this emulator is going to cover many different micros of the 8-bit era from Atari comes with its own ROM file but it's not fully compatible apparently so if a game doesn't load that's just going to be a case of obtaining your own ROM files to kickstart it shall we say. So uh, what we need to do here is first and foremost if we go under features take notice of these images which it takes. Uh, so if you've got say a .zip or whatever and it's not listed here it's not gonna work so just ensure that your disk images have these has a file extension it's also gonna accept uh, cast images which are cassette images so let's just go and download this so if we go to the download section and if we go to the github releases so the latest version of this is back from 2022 and by the seems of it is extremely stable minus the ROM problem which can't be helped but that's down to legalities. So we need to download the win32.zip and of course I'm using Windows 11 for this tutorial but this is going to be compatible with previous Windows OS systems or operating systems. So let's just drag this zip out onto my desktop. And we no longer need this website so close that down your next task is going to be to extract this zipped folder so i use winrar for this use whatever extraction tool you feel uh, fit to do and this is going to give us another folder and as i said this is portable so you don't need to install this one to your hard drive so let's see what we're doing so if we open this up you're going to get several different dot dll files and a couple of sub folders. First thing I'm gonna do is just create a new folder inside of here, and I'm gonna call this one Games. And the next thing I'm gonna do is head over to Atari Mania, which is a very good source to grab your games from. And once you've downloaded your game, I've downloaded this one. Uh, again, they all come in zipped folders, so for this you're going to need to extract them. So we have got two files inside of this game. We've got ATR file and we have got a ROM file. So just drag these onto the desktop and what I'm going to do next is drag each one of these into the games folder I've just created. So everything's nice and neat and it's all in one folder on my desktop. So let's just open up the emulator itself, so just double left click on the Atari 800 application. And this is it, so it's going to start off in a small screen, but we can soon sort that out. So uh, the key to use to get into your options in your menus and configurations is F1. And here we go. So like I said, it looks a little bit daunting. Uh, to select different options, I'm just using cursor keys to go up and down. So let's just go to system settings. Now the first thing you're going to see under system settings is the machine you want this Atari emulator to emulate. So at the moment it's on Atari 800XL which is 64 kilobyte. If I press enter on this I've then got a different selection of different Atari 8-bit micro machines I want to emulate. But for this one, I'm going to use this as its default, which is the 800XL. 
If you've got a game for say the 400 or another micro of the Atari range then you obviously just select the micro that game was designed for to run on. So 800XL in my case and if we just go under the OS version which is the Atari operating system version you can either have this one or just choose automatically for this I'm gonna just you know choose automatically okay so the next part of this is going to be running your game so for this we simply just go to disk management and I'm exiting out of each window I go into with escape and it's that simple so just go to disk management and D1 uh, is pretty much saying disk drive 1 so to enable this to run our game I've just downloaded I'm going to press enter on this and this brings you into your main folder where your Atari files are stored where what you just downloaded so if you remember I just made a games folder which is located on here as you can see it says games so if I go into games here we go this is the game I've just downloaded from Atari Mania the game I'm going to download actually, the, the version of it, is going to be the disk version which is the .atr. Forget about .rom for now, that's fine, but we want to load the ATR, so I'm going to press enter on ATR and I'm going to go to load disk set and press enter on this. Now I'm going to press escape and escape again and escape again. Okay, the beautiful thing about this is my PlayStation 3 controller doesn't need to be configured with this emulator, it runs straight out of the box. So it's all good to go. <clears throat> anyway, I've no idea about this game, I've heard of this game, and you notice I didn't uh, mention the game's name just now, and that's simply because I can't pronounce this one. <laughs> okay, so you're obviously going to want to play this in full screen, or some of you might. Very simple, so to do this, just press F1 on your keyboard, and this won't interrupt the game, it'll keep running, just press F1. Uh, next thing you need to do is just use your cursor key to navigate to display settings. From here, we're going to go into video mode settings, which is already highlighted, press enter. And from here, you can have aspect ratio settings, so as standard, it's on a 16 by 9 ratio. I'm going to leave it as that. If you want a different ratio, just select, press enter, and that's about it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is your full screen resolution. Now, I've tried boosting this up to 1080p, but I'm not getting any luck. So, not sure if you want to try that, but it won't run on mine. So, for this, I've just gone to select 1280 by 1024. Press enter on this. And the next thing we need to do is just press on full screen. Press escape, press escape. And there we go. So here it is. This is your Atari 8-bit systems emulated on Windows 11 like I'm using. So that's about it for the 8-bit micros by Atari. Um, as I said, if you're downloading a game, just be sure you know which model Atari it was for, otherwise it's not going to load. Also be cautious that some games aren't going to load with this because they need the official Atari ROM files. And I'm sure you can go out your way to source those yourself. So brilliant emulator, no controller configuration required as far as I'm concerned it picks mine up automatically so just head over to Atari Mania select a game and just take note that you will need to know the model for your game otherwise it won't boot uh, I think that's about it so yes yeah, a very daunting looking emulator but at the same time a quite a simple emulator I think it looks more daunting than it needs to be so uh, until next time see you later